Hi, Tony Kishawi here, reporting for the What's On in Gympie News. Yes, the once a week uh, weekly newsletter. Actually, you might have noticed last week we missed out. Yes, there were some complications. One of our automated plugins that sends out social media to LinkedIn, of all places, stopped our system from working, and so therefore we had a bit of a delay. So apologies to anyone who was trying to submit their event up on the What's On. It's all fixed now, so you can go there and uh, keep on submitting your events. So hopefully you find the What's On in Gimpy website useful. Now, what's coming up in June? Well, we've got the very first one off the rank is Charmaine Wilson coming to the Heritage Theatre. That's this Tuesday, so get your tickets in. Um, there must have been uh, some advertising go out by Charmaine because the tickets inquiries have been coming in on the phone today. So get your tickets quick. Then after that, we have Vivaldi, Mozart, Paganini, performed by the Chamber Philharmonia Colleen. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Colleen. <laughs> um, I'll find out when they get here. So this troupe, is, uh, this, uh, these musicians are all the way from Germany and they, they visit uh, Australia once a year and they always stop by and perform here in Gympie. Please go along and support uh, this, this group. They are excellent musicians. So they're at the St. Pat's Church this year, starting at seven and uh, tickets at the Gympie box office. Next, we have craft beer. Yes, it's called World of Darkness. Yes, beer tasting at Gunnable House, hosted by Zesty Edibles. That's George over there at Gunnable, and they're putting on the uh, beer tasting. So hopefully that one of the brewers is coming up from Brisbane, and uh, they're going to be there on the day. And they've got a special beer called a Bloody Good Stout. <laughs> really good names, really down, good down to earth. You can get the uh, tickets online, and also he's giving a prize for the people who book ahead. He needs, he needs to know because of catering purposes. Now this is going to be outside the Gunnable uh, House on the, in the grass area. There's going to be open fire so you can warm your hands, and there's going to be the chef... Uh, Beauty and the Beard is going to be supplying the, the, food, the food. So get your tickets for that one. Uh, then we have Alan Pease. Now, I, couldn't, I could stop there for the upcoming this week or next week, but um, I should mention all of the events that are on for tickets for sale. So Alan Pease is coming, and he's got his new book called Find the Answer, and uh, he's having a breakfast at the Civic Centre. It starts at 8 a.m. in the morning, and uh, he takes people through the, the work, like a workshop process of his book, and you actually get a copy of his book. Finally, Cirque Africa. I'm cuffed to make this announcement because they are coming but in September, but you can get early bird tickets now. So they're offering only 120 early bird tickets. A few of them have gone already, and as soon as we hit 120, I'll be switching off the, um, the code. You'll find the code at the bottom of, the, uh, of this email in the newsletter because it's only available to What's On Inkin P subscribers. So... If you actually want to sell any tickets to any events that you're, ha you're having, get in contact with us. Just go to the Gimpy Box office and fill out the uh, event request form. I'd like to leave you with a recording that we made earlier today at the Art Gallery. Sydney Vogels was interviewing G Julie Gibbs and congratulating her on her new position within the council. And they're talking about the G150 art, the art competition at the gallery that's happening. It's actually uh, finishing up this Saturday, so be quick. And also Ju uh, Julie is talking about the uh, studio trails which is which is coming up this is the little book here where you can actually um, hop in a bus that they provide and you go around and visit all the artists that are in around Gimpy there's there's so many I didn't actually realize how many artists are working in their homes in their studios and this tour is about taking you to their studios having a little bit of insight into their world so I'd like to leave you with the interview with uh, Cindy Vogels and Julie Gibbs thank you Hi everyone, Cindy Vogels coming to you from the Gympie Regional Gallery and I have been lucky enough to get a moment with Julie Gibbs, our Manager of Arts and Culture for the Gympie Region. Morning Julie. Morning Cindy. Um, thanks so much for taking a moment um, out of your day. Um, it's a bit exciting where we're sitting. I was just going to actually reference what's behind us here. This is the winners of the Heritage Art Competition that we hold annually for the Shire. And uh, yes, we've got three artists work behind here. They're um, absolutely gorgeous. I um, particularly love Megan Shelton's Megan's, here. Megan's, yes, she yeah. does a beautiful job. It's and it's a really unique way she's doing that too with her poker work. Has, has that been, is that like a burnt, is that how they burn with a solar yes, kind yeah, of? Yes, she's burnt it and then she's gone over it in layers yeah. to add the depth. And this, this is just stunning. Tony, can you zoom in on this one? This is just absolutely. 
Yeah, uh, Sheree, oh, Sheree Rowan. Sheree yeah. Rowan, but yeah, a portrait of Andrew Fisher. Yeah. They're just stunning. I was really glad to have a moment to take them in before you arrived. And they're, they're here to celebrate the G150, give his 150th yeah. year was the theme for this and year's so competition. How much longer is this um, in, in here? I think it's this weekend. We might do on get Tony to do a pan around. So make sure that um, you get in for the Heritage Art um, Competition and see all of the entries that are in this gorgeous um, gallery. They're, they're definitely yeah. worth a look. Um, but we're going to talk about... Studio Trails. Studio Trails, yes. This is our second year of doing our Studio Trails for the Gympie region and we've put it over four weekends and a different part of the Shire for every weekend. Okay. So last weekend we had the coastal... Groups. We had Tinkan Bay, Rainbow Beach, and somewhere on the way to Rainbow, Neardy, an artist on the way to Neardy. That was right, with her felting hat, some scarves. It was beautiful. Uh, I, I don't know, I tend to think it was more of a eating trail than an art trail. Did you guys joined... enjoy a bit of food? <laughs> well, they go so well together, don't they, art and food? Like wine, yes. art, food. food. Yes. yes. <laughs> so this weekend is... Northern Gympie and there's quite a number of studios up there that people can visit on both Saturday and Sunday and there is a bus going up on both days, a little bus, which the Friends of the Gallery are helping us do this part of it yep. and they, Saturday is full but there are spaces on Sunday for this Sunday and for next Sunday still and on the how, bus. And how do people get their name on that bus They list? ring the gallery or ring the friends of the gallery. The gallery number is 54810733. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight studios that people can go to visit, scattered around the northern parts of the region, which is quite exciting. We've got Lisa Stamis, Margie Pockney, Kerry Atkins, Dion Channer, Sue Purnell, Robert Nabilia, Nabilia and Jojo Frost. That's a new studio I've never seen before and I haven't seen Robert's before. And Gail Robinson. So that's this weekend. So it's a good Fantastic. trip around. And um, I mean, so much work has gone into this. I think I've been, you know, following mm. this would it be two years now in the well, making? This is, our, or? this is our second year. Last year they we had two weekends where they had the studio trails. But this year we've only kept it to one. Yep. Yeah. It, there was so much going on last October when we did it that some of the artists were too busy having open studios that they couldn't get to enjoy other things like Heart of Gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so people can pick up one of these brochures from here at the gallery. We'll just show yes. what that looks like um, yep. and keep that. And then, you know, next time you don't have... Um, when you've got some time to spare yeah. in the next couple of weekends. This yeah. weekend is north. Next weekend is the Gympie area. And there's an opening at the gallery at the same time as the studio trails are on. And the weekend, the last weekend, which is actually the Mary Valley one, it starts in, oh, I can't think of the date. It coincides with their Mary Valley Art Festival as well, the 1st and 2nd of July. Fantastic. So, fit a whole so we can in. also um, go on to, which, what's the best website to find this? The council website. Council website. It's probably and under the gallery, yep. under community. Excellent. And, culture. and mm. so it's all there online as well. Yep. I think it is. I hope it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, yes. So we wish you well with that. I hope you get a full bus. Oh, so do I. It's fun. It and, is fun. But people don't have to go on the bus, do they? They oh, can. No, they no. can absolutely. The bus drive. can only take so many people. I think the artists would like to see a lot more than what the bus can hold. Yeah. So we would. You know, that they would feel really happy if they had a lot of people to visit. So yeah. it's a good thing to do. Yeah, and just um, to be able to enter an artist studio, which oh, is usually kind it's of... another I world. mean, I'm not ready to let anyone in mine. No, no. <laughs> or mine. <laughs> um, so it is really special that artists have been encouraged to open their studios mm. to the public. Um, and so you should definitely take, you know, take yes. this opportunity because um, we are we're unusual creatures. They don't like to expose their soul, which is their work. Room, but when they do, or their mess, <laughs> so <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, enjoy the weekend and enjoy the rest of the trails, and um, we look forward to talking you, to you Cindy. again soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Tony.